Hey there, y'all. Disney D Prince here today with another Barbie unboxing. Today we have got a different kind of Barbie box and set. So as you can see, there is some, I'm not sure which Asian language this is. I think it's kanji, but I'm not sure. Um, but it is the Barbie Benefits of Play Creativity Fashion Combo with Fashion Activity Booklet. Now it's got 40 plus looks in here, so it is a big fashion pack. There is a doll in there. And I picked it up at Tuesday morning. I got it on sale. It's got a comparable value of 50. And I picked it up at uh, actually 10% off of that because Tuesday morning the one I went to was going out of business so it was 10% off of that so it wound up being about $20 after tax. So I was like you know what with 40 plus piece 40 plus looks we're gonna see how it looks. Let me show you guys the back of the box. Oh actually while I'm thinking about it here's the UPC. Again I'm not sure which language this is but it is not a um, it is not in English, the majority of the stuff on the box. So, let me show you what we've got in here. So we've got a doll, a dress, a little skirt thing, a uh, longer skirt, a little gauzy skirt, a shirt with some kanji on it, some black tights, some shorts, another skirt, a tube top, a tank top, and some accessories. So lots of different options, and we are going to see, and some of these are reversible. So some of them are going to look different on one side or the other. So that's kind of interesting, because we don't really get that a lot. So I'm going to show you guys what came in this box, and try out some of these looks. All right, let's see, do I need a box cutter, or is it just a pull box? Oh, it's just tape. It's just uh, glue. Okay. Cardboard is fighting me. That's all right. Okay. Okay. So here's what it looks like when we take her out of the box. As you can see, she has got a little bit of a different look. I, th I thought this was reversible inside out, but it's literally like a different pattern on the back. And the same thing for these. So that's kind of interesting. I'm a little bit sad that it's not actually flip it inside out, but still cool. We've got a couple of different accessories on here. The little fashion activity booklet is in here. Let me show you guys what that kind of looks like. So this is it. We've got Raquel and Teresa on there. Got Match the Silhouettes. Again, this is in two different languages. We've got some just little activity things in here. I kind of thought this would wind up being like a sticker booklet, but it's not. It's more of a color booklet or uh, like a tracing thing, but that's kind of cool. Um, that might make it into like one of my niece's Easter baskets or whatever next year, or a stocking. But let's start taking a look at everything that comes in this thing. So first and foremost, we're gonna take the doll out and see. I think she's a Millie, but she's actually giving a little bit of Generation Girl, and I'm not sure. Okay, let's see. Nope. Okay, standard Millie. But look at how cute this pattern is on the back. But that's like this one over here, which is a little bit different. Uh, she's a standard articulated Barbie. I love this belt, though. If you follow my channel, you know I'm so irritated we don't get more actual like Barbie belts. Uh, we've got some really cute shoes. These are the bees. So these are going to fit original and petite feet. Let's start taking some of this stuff off so you guys can see. Okay. 
Okay, so here's our tank top. So this is kind of cute. I like this pattern. And then future is bright over here, which is kind of fun. I'm okay with the fact that it's different, but it means I'm gonna have to put it under a jacket if I style it, which is kind of shitty. And then let's take a look at the skirt. So we've got one side that's supposed to be like orange belts on pink, and the other side it's like blue with like a little stripe on it. It's okay, but when you do these skirts that are like this, you kind of have to style them sideways, unless you want it to look a little bit ridiculous. Now we're gonna try all these pieces on. I just wanna get them all off first and give you guys a closer look at how they look up close before we style them. Now again, this is how this looks on this side. This is just a basic t-shirt. And then it's got a Zahn on there. Kinda cute. I was hoping this was gonna be like a tee. It was like a basic white tee and it's not. It's got this back on it, which is fine, I guess. In the grand scheme of things, it's not the worst. But this is really cute. I thought this was gonna be a skirt, and I thought she was gonna have a like a swimsuit body, but it's actually a one-piece dress, which I'm actually okay with. Like I like this. It's cute. I would have preferred them to just do it like one around, like a one-sided seam, especially since it's stretch, but I get why they didn't, because it's not a super stretchy material. Let's see. We've got a hat, which is kind of cute. We might need to drop this in some hot water to reform it, but we don't see this mold very often. In fact, I think this is the first time I'm seeing this mold. Like, look at that buckle back there. Like, that's kind of awesome. We've got this orange skirt, which is very cute. It's very basic. I'm okay with that though. It's kind of boxy, but it's fine. And then we've got our orange, like our yellow sheer overskirt. Always kind of fun to have these to layer when we need to. And a pair of black tights. These are always helpful. And these are actually full length tights, not the uh, three quarter lengths that we usually get with our um, Made to Move Barbies, the yoga series. Then we've got some basic orange shorts. Not bad, they've got some Velcro on there. And then we've got a pink sheer over skirt. And then we've got a pink little tube top, which is very cute. Now that's it for clothes. Now let's take off these accessory pieces and see what we've got in there. Okay. So we've got this really cute bag. Like look at how detailed that mold is with the chain. Like I almost don't care that this purse is a brick. And we've got these sunglasses that are actually transparent and in a normal sunglass color. 
and are actually a unique mold I haven't seen before. We've got this necklace that we see all the time. That's fine. We've seen this bag before, but it's still cute. It's nice to see it in silver. It's actually not an open bag. It's a brick, unfortunately. Uh, and then we've got a backpack, which this is a brick. Even though it looks like a backpack, it doesn't open. Um, but alas, that's kind of what we get sometimes when it comes to Barbie. But these, I'm feeling, are like more unique molds that I haven't seen in a while. This is a really cute headband that was down at the bottom. And then I'm going to try to get all these shoes out. Okay. I think that's it from there. I'm gonna try to get a year off of this, actually. So this said 2018. So this might be an older set that just like stuck around in like Tuesday morning for a while. We've got a pink choker. We've seen this one before. Now these shoes are kind of wild because they don't have a heel. They're almost like ballet slippers but there's no heel to them. They're just completely open. I'm gonna see how those look on a doll here in a second. We've got some of these. We've seen this mold before. It's nice to see things in yellow. We've got these like peep toe, like wingtip heels almost. Or it's not even a peep toe, it's a peep arch. But it's still kind of fun. And we've got some fun sneakers. I have not seen this mold before, so that's great. And then last but not least, we've got some headphones. These are our bigger headphones that have the detail on the inside. These are in blue. We don't see that in very often. We don't really get a ton of blue accessories, but it's interesting. So one, two, three, four, plus the shoes she's wearing. So five pairs of shoes. We are going to count out the clothes now. Okay, so let me set that off to the side. Show you guys she's just a standard Millie under there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 pieces of actual clothing, like cloth clothing. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So 11 accessories. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26 pieces individually plus the doll. So I paid less than a dollar a piece for this set. So that's good without even taking out the like $5 it would be for the standard Barbie. So that's intriguing. So let's see how some of these look on her. So I'm gonna start with this dress. It's very cute, it's very basic. It's just a tube dress, like essentially like a tube top that's got a skirt on it. Okay. Bum, bum, bum. Looks cute on her. Let's try the blue shoes on her. She does have arched feet. So these are flats that are gonna fit on an arched foot. Very cute. 
and then let's see how our little skirt fits because this looks really basic to me and this bow is literally just a bow like it doesn't have a drawstring or anything but it's not a bad skirt like it doesn't look as boxy once it's on the doll and it's about a knee length skirt so it's not bad I don't know what you would really style that with in this set though and we've got our little shorter skirt which if I was gonna style it it'd probably be like this way is how I would style that but it's really cute and then put it probably like with this top. Let's see how that would look. I think it's gonna be easier to slide it up her body than to try to put it over her head, oddly enough. And it's kind of a cute tank top. It would probably work all right on Ken as well because of how loose it is in the actual torso. But that's about how that fits. And again, the feature is bright. That's how it would look on the other side. Um, so those are some of our reversible pieces. Let's check out our other reversible piece, which is going to be this t-shirt. So the t-shirts are always a little odd because you kind of have, you still have to slide them up because you can't really get most of these things, you know, over the full width of the arms as they're extended up, but it's okay. So we can slide it up like that. It actually looks okay if you keep it down like this where you have the sleeves off the shoulder or you can do it you know one shoulder up kind of like flash dance style or you can put her shoulders full into the shirt and it looks like that or like that on her and then we can put our yellow shorts on to go with that if we feel like it these are a little tight but they do work. They give her a little bit of camel toe. But it's okay. If we were going to put those yellow heels on her. This set is very yellow. I have a feeling. But like it's super cute. And I showed y'all an orange skirt. Now we've got a tube top. That's what these look. And these are fun. I honestly don't feel like any of these pieces actually go together, but that might just be a me thing. If you like these pieces together, then there's lots of things to do to like mix and match them. I would love to pair this with something shimmery underneath, like one of those shimmery skirts that doesn't stay where it's supposed to. But it's still kind of cute. It's giving Matt, Matt Gala. And we can swap this around and give her a little pink short skirt. And then we just kind of take it off. Now let's see how these weird pink shoes fit, because I'm not freaking sure. So like, they literally slip on like this and then kind of come up the heel. Like, it's okay, it's cute. I want to see what it looks like on an articulated ankle, so I'm going to pull one of my other made-to-move dolls, 
So I've got a uh, standard made to move Barbie right here. So is she standing flat? That is the weirdest shoe in the world. But it does fit on our other Barbies. So, I mean, you could kind of pair this with like a ballet Barbie if you needed to. Like if you had a ballerina that was missing her shoes. Or if you just wanted to make a made-to-move ballerina, you could throw some tights on her. And then put those over the top of them. That would work. I kind of like these heels. I'm not sure. I don't think I tried these on, even though we know how black tights look on this channel. We see these a lot. Go. Okay. And that's kind of how they look on, which they're decently cute. These are actually a little baggy, so I would probably put these on a curvy. Just because of how baggy they are right there. Or maybe even a Ken. But, very cute. Let's see how our hat fits. So, it does stay on with her hair. That's not bad. And you could probably get a little bit of the hair through her, like, through the little hole in the hat. Not a full ponytail, but a little bit of the hair just to secure it on there. But that's a really cute, uh, really cute hat. Let's see how it would look on our Beefcake Ken. So, we have Beefcake Ken right there. Actually, it'd work on him. His hair's still jelly, but... It would fit. It's not hugely on him, but that's also because he is a signature head, so his head is actually a little bit narrower than the standard Barbies. But that's kind of a cool hat. I like that. And again, we know how accessories fit. You know, we saw how they looked. This is the other side to that dress. I kind of wish this was its own piece. Like, I don't love when they do a flip side on that. I was hoping it was going to be you turn them inside out and they were a different color, but it's not. So, that is what it is. So, I mean, I could style this with, like, a long jacket over it if I was going to do that, like a black fur. Or like a black trench coat, maybe. But anything that's not at least knee length is not going to work with this because it's going to show that color on the back if I want just the black and white. But if I want the color, I can be a little, little funkier with it. But it's very cool. And for 20 bucks, it was a pretty decent fashion pack haul. That's all Mattel, and a lot of it is specifically Asian branded. So that's kind of fun. I do like this dress. It will probably get used pretty soon. The shorts and the pink tube top will find their way into an outfit within, you know, the next couple of weeks, probably. The black leggings will probably find their way. This one, probably not. This is going to wind up being a Ken top most likely and I'll probably just like stretch it but it's fun and it's actually printed so you can't take that off on either side so it's all printed material it's not a uh, it's not decals same thing on this side but they're fun uh, the orange skirt I don't know what I'll do with it this is probably going to wind up being a layering skirt just because I have some of these that'll like work against it just to make it a little funkier because there's no detail on this, which is fine, but it also has no like structure to it. 
So, kind of fun. Uh, the shoes, uh, four out of five of them are new molds that I don't have, I don't think. So, I was like, that'll work. And I like these yellow ones anyway, if I do have them. And like the one instance of I would probably style this with a doll, as far as a brick purse goes, just because this chain is so detailed that it makes up for it. Like you can't even see that there's supposed to be like a lightning bolt on here, but like it's awesome. And if you style it this way, you miss that whole obnoxious like design because it is flat on one side, but still has like this raised border compared to this with the lightning bolt on there on the other side. So like, yeah, I would probably style this on a doll. And of course, I love belts. This is probably gonna get used very quickly. Just like, look at the detail on the belt. It's actually like two belts, but it's still one piece. And these are actually kind of funky cool in a good way that I think I would style a doll with these. Not just because they're transparent, but because they're actually cute. Uh, headbands will get used eventually. Uh, the transparent pink choker, meh, maybe in a blue moon. This might get used, but I really kind of hate this mold because it doesn't really know what it wants to be. Because it's not really like a big statement necklace, but it's also not like specifically diamonds or anything getting to the point where i just want to cut this lower part off and just have it be like a spiky chunky necklace instead of having that lower band part so i don't know and i kind of wish i could stick it on the top of a head and make it like the uh like the krushnik uh tiara or something like that just like that but i doubt that would hold for very long but again, the doll is passable. It's just a basic Millie. There's nothing wrong with her. I just don't need her. So all of her stuff will get donated to, to a pretty Barbie in need. Like maybe this girl, she needs a new body though. So if you guys have any questions on this set, let me know in the comments. Again, I picked it up at my Tuesday morning. It's the only place I've seen it. So I picked it up when I saw it. So if you have questions, leave them in the comments. If you enjoyed it, leave me a like. And as always, follow along for some more fun unboxings. Bye, y'all. Be good.